Hi, I'm Michael Curtis. Thanks for joining us at this 2020 COVID affected Hunter Valley Bikers Memorial Run and Service. This year we're not doing the run as such because of the social distancing requirements. So, however, we're just going to get straight into the service. Shortly, Howard Mole is going to have a few words to say. And uh, then from there, we'll be looking for plaques to put on the board uh, and then be a roll call moment silence and amazing grace to finish it off. Thanks for your interest and look forward to seeing everybody out and about and also on the road next year. Well, things are very different this year and what a year it's been with drought, fires, floods and now COVID. For most of us in the Newcastle region, we've not been harshly affected uh, by these things. Most of us have not been affected by drought, by fires, by floods, or the coronavirus, other than social distancing and lockdown and with some loss of work and or business. But in spite of these crises, many things remain the same. Life continues, and so of course does death. For most of us, we have not lost someone as a result of fires, floods, or COVID. But death has still invaded many of our lives for one reason or another. People have continued to die as a result of illness, old age, and various kinds of accidents. And I should point out for those who are involved in this bikers memorial service for the first time, that very few of the bikers we remember today have died as a result of motorcycle accidents. Out of the 130 names on our memorial board, only a handful have died on their bikes or as a result of riding. The reality, however, remains that everyone dies. Some live a long life, while others have their life cut short, way too early. And so we join together today to remember those biker friends family or loved ones that have passed away and left some sort of hole in our hearts. Under normal circumstances, pre-COVID, we would have ridden today from Newcastle to Mount Sugarloaf as a memorial ride for these folk. Today we meet on video, but our hurt and our pain is still the same. Our sense of loss, our sense of grief, is just as real, just as painful, just as heartbreaking as it would have been if we were standing shoulder to shoulder on Mount Sugarloaf. And so I, I do encourage each of you today, when this video concludes, to call, text or Facebook your friends who are grieving their loss and let them know that you're thinking of them, remembering their pain. Don't try and take their pain away, you can't do that. But offer them words of encouragement, words of love, endearment, words of support, and reflections of good memories of those who have passed away. I know that not everyone has the same beliefs or the faith that I do, but it is certainly this belief in a loving God that helps me deal with the death of loved ones. God promises to be, and in my experience, he is our strength and comfort through those difficult times. He also promises that heaven is a place of no more tears, no more crying, no more pain. This, I believe, is what we would wish or pray for for our loved ones. So I'd ask you to join with me while I pray for you as you remember your loved ones. Let's pray. Heavenly Father and Almighty God, we pause today to remember those friends and loved ones who we have lost. Some of those who have died way too early. Those who have died and left us with a hole in our hearts, left us grieving, sometimes feeling alone, even angry. Loving Heavenly Father, I ask that you bring comfort to all those who are grieving today. Dry our tears, Father, 
with the memories of good times, good rides, and the legacies of good that those people have brought into our lives. And we ask this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm going to read The Biker's Ode, as written by Paul Mulvey from the Port Stephens Ulysses. We'll never forget our biker mates lost along the way, leaving such a painful gap on our rides from day to day. We still have our memories of their character and pranks, with their humour, jokes and laughter forever in our ranks. We that are left have gained so much from the company and their pride, and now let God welcome them. In heaven they can ride.